In this release, we've got some improvements to the D7X internal event log viewer. That's available if you receive a check event log notice here. You can just double click this note, or you can start it by going to the D7X tools tab, and it's up here, event log viewer. So this release has some improvements, and I just want to go over them real quickly. First off, um, we have changed it around a little bit so we can get a long custom field up here for the event log name. And that's because Windows 8, uh, X and Windows 10 have a lot of new customized event logs under, well, let me show you. They are not your standard event logs. They're normally available. These are your standard event logs. There's a lot of new ones in Windows 8 and 10 under Microsoft Windows. As you can see, there are tons of them. So what we've done is we've uh, put a couple of the more commonly used ones in this drop-down box that aren't available for the system or the application, of course, but uh, you'll just check custom. And we've got a lot of these uh, under here. Once you click on custom, you'll notice when you click application or system, the event log actually does a scan immediately. When you click on custom, it will do a scan immediately if there's something already populated here. But if there's nothing here the first time that you click on that, you'll have to click the scan button or the rescan button. So what we're going to do is let me just find one with some events. These actually have no error or warning events, but they may have all types. So, okay, there we go. So now we've got Windows Firewall events. Yeah, so we've got Windows Defender events. And yes, when selecting a new item from the drop-down, you will have to click the rescan button. And Windows Update events. And of course, you can still filter those by errors, warnings, or both from the last reboot last week or last month. You've also got the ability now to clear these event logs, and which, which is something we didn't have before. So now if we select all types under Windows Update, you can just erase the event log. I'll ask you to erase this event log, yes. I'll tell you it was erased. Now you can rescan and you won't find anything. Now, what you can do is you can put your own event log uh, in here that if it's not in there already. For example, go to, say, disk. There's, I haven't really seen anything in here yet. This is just an example. But you can right-click on the event log uh, here, go to Properties, and then you have the full name of the event log up here. And that's what we want to put in the drop-down. So you can just select all that full name there. Go back to D7 and then just paste that in here. And now you can scan that log. Another neat feature is that when you when you drop that name in there, it will now appear in the drop down. And the other new thing here is for this drop down and also for our event filters, if you were to put in an event ID or event source or event description to filter out all of the items that you're looking through. Anything in these drop downs are now going to be saved anytime you close the event viewer. So when you go back to the event viewer and open it again, all of these saved items are going to appear again where they were before. For event filters, that means that they will be saved and they will appear again the next time you open it. So you may actually have to clear out these event filter fields if you had anything entered in here, for example, if I put in a source, let's say I wanted my event source to have the word com in it, I'll do a rescan. Now all of my events are from this Microsoft Windows distributed com. It's because that's in the event source. You also see now that's in our drop down. If I close this window and I go back to the event viewer, I've still got com in the event source, so you would have to delete that and then do a rescan to get all events. Um, but I thought that the convenience of uh, 
the convenience of loading all of these items and saving them by default far outweighs the inconvenience of having to delete them if you need to. That actually does it for our demo. Hope this video has been of some help.